How are you? Thank you very much, uh, Madame, for this opportunity. Thank you, uh, UNESCO representatives, uh, British Council for hosting us, and everyone who is here. Now, as a challenge of being an entrepreneur, I, I have a lot of files that are waiting for me. If I don't work on them, then the salary of my employees won't check in. But being the employer or an entrepreneur, you don't know where the salary will come from, but you need to provide the salary for your employees. So that keeps me on my toes all the time to ensure that we close more business so that the salary will have to be there whether it is raining or it doesn't. Now for those who don't know me, my name is Anton Vanna and I'm the entrepreneur and the motivational speaker. Now, I've been requested to share a brief story or my success story on the area of entrepreneurship. Now, I'm going just to talk in less than 20 minutes, so you have to be very tentative and let's rock on this. Now, it's about to release what I said, who do you want to be? First lady mentioned, one of the ladies mentioned, I want to become a lawyer. Now, me, Kutoka Shuri Amchakai, with my English going up, that's the only thing I understood. No, it was my first time to hear the word lawyer. So I was saying, lawyer, who is a lawyer? Because I'm not only familiar to become a teacher, a policeman, a doctor. That's what I knew. Now there was a bus. We got a bus about in a motion, I mean, Morocco and Islam. They were called lawyer class. So I thought, this lady wants to own the buses. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, on growing up, then I came to realize, okay, if you want to do arts, then if you want to become a lawyer, you must do arts. And in the same time, I also wanted to become a pilot. I didn't know what I was, I wanted to be. But as you're growing up, you also evolve. You come to know the talents that you have and stuff like that. So for me, I don't say that this is the only thing that you should do right now, what you've written in primary school. Probably as you're going along, and you'll be able to, to knock the things down. So now what I'm doing currently, I've never been into school regularly, like entrepreneurship and being a motivational speaker. If you ask me a certificate as a, as a, as an interviewer and also as a speaker, I've never got any certificate. But through the experience, which matters a lot actually, I'm doing better than the the people who went to school for what they're doing right now, okay? So, what I'm trying to say is uh, volunteerism is what made me, actually, the better person. And it was a for me to start my own company. Nabada who Maliza Chuo, what I did, I had to go to... Nabada Chuo, of course, I was also volunteering myself in one of the FM stations and also doing other entrepreneurship projects within the college. Now, but I am Alice Sachuo, Nikapata Kazbeng. Now, I did my political science. My first degree was in political science and public administration, making in international relations. But once I graduated, I went to do the banking job. Two things unrelated. But again, I was, as I was becoming a banker, I was also developing my other sides of my talent areas. And this is the key area that I stress all the time when I have time to speak to the youth, that you need to see the talents, the abilities that God has bestowed within you. As a part of what to do, you go to the to stop to now or you on fire. Like you get up to go to the you can buy your bunch of degrees and go to a side degree or one of those men at the so what I'm trying to say, uh, in the case she was almost, I was looking in deep in myself. What are the talents that I have? And what of them was public speaking and event planning and management? Those were my things, those were my passion. And I developed those passions so quickly while I was still a banker to the extent that they began to pay me so well that I had to retire without a job. So after four years, I decided to retire.
retire and to go into entrepreneurship. And now this is, I think, is my, uh, wow, I think my fifth year. I think you be pregnant because employment now is not there. We are only done in the to care. So, we can use our company as so for the people who can use them. So, if you have graduated, you can see my company in my sexual, the other cars, you can see my company. You can attend trainings like this. You open up your mind. You upgrade your softwares. Your applications are in the new mind. You can see how you can use them. Now, I'm going to share with you how you can use them. I'm going to share with you how you can use them. Unajua kwa umekaa tu ule mama unaezana usijigundue zaidi lakini ukipita kwenye moto utaweza kuwa mtu bora zaidi ndio maana watu ambao wapita kwenye mazingira magumu ndio wanaokuwa ndanga ya kwenye maisha lakini waliokuja society na mayai unaangalia TV kibashanisha atakuwa mzee na anakufa kwa kutumia drugs so what i'm trying to say ni kwamba yeye ambao mko sasa hivi entrepreneurship is not an option is a must because being an entrepreneur, what it does, it gives you options. Number seven, options. It gives you options. Financially, it gives you options in terms of decision making. And it gives you, you create the way. You know, most people, they wait for the way to be created, for them to pass. But in entrepreneurship, you need to create the way so that other people can pass. That's how we are going to solve the problems in this country. this five uh, skills that will help you. Every youth in our country and whoever is coming to our country to help the youth, we need to develop these five skills. Number one is sales skills. Say sales. Sales. Mauzo. And before I proceed, all skills are learnable. His skills will tell you who are doing His skills will help you fool that. Kama Mike Twain alivu sema, umumumu wa karima ishina monya, siyo kundu yu kusuma na kwanika, uwe shabita. Na sayidi na lekati yue, uwezo wa kuwacha pili ambao kuna liyua, tutafute kitu vingine pili. You must know, in the economy that you are in, in order for you to become a winner, you must be on the selling point. Not on the consuming point. There are kind of two kinds of people in the economy. The consumers, and the one who is supplying to the consumer. The seller and the buyer. Which one do you, do you want to become? Seller. 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 But selling is a skill. Do you want to say, but kila wakati, pesa iwebo. Yani isuwe nini, 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 They cannot come back unless una sell in the top of your mind. From now onwards, make this your homework. Go and learn how to sell. You must have something to sell. Even if it's small as chamba, mboga mboga, just make sure that you're selling something. You can sell now to the street, and then to the village, and then probably to the supermarkets. That's how we start. Steve Jobs, na partner wake, nanzisha kwenye garage, unajua garage? Chumba cha uwani. Mark Zuckerberg started at the dormitory. So it doesn't matter where you're starting, but you can start small and you can grow big. That's what I'm trying to say. And another skill that you need to develop as quick as possible that will link to the entrepreneurship is customer care. Everybody say customer care. Customer care. The better sell that you can do is to the second customer, to the, to the customer that is coming back for the second time. If you are able to solve this problem, of customer service. Uta sikia, watu uta wachia ugini wa sikia maisha wa kumbula kina ita kwa kwa. Because literally, if I'm selling water, and you are selling water, what will keep me coming to you and not to the other person is the service. So we might be selling the same thing, but if we have added value in terms of service, then we can venture. Watanzania wengi ni wavithi kwenye customer care. Watanzania wengi ni wavithi kwenye customer service. We just take things for granted. Learn. Customer care is something that you can learn. Na answer na rafiki yako wa karimu. Wala mungu wa jendua anze na wamuze na wakeze. Another skill that you need to develop as quick as possible is communication skills. Now, Paulo Paulo has already touched about this. We don't know how to communicate. 
unaenda kwenye restaurant unamwambia mhudumu na wewe ukiletee Pepsi ya baridi anaenda kukuletea milinda ya moto <laughs> alafu unakwambia mimi nilifikiri nilifikiri unataka milinda ulifikiri yake <laughs> communication involves not only you to speak but also to listen now you need these are the things that you if you learn how to listen if you learn how to speak you'll be surprised on how many problems you can solve in the economy i'm talking from the interpretation point of view most of the entrepreneurs au vijana wenzetu wa tulio tulio katika soko la ajira hatujui jinsi ya communicate now sasa hivi zamani nilikuwa ma engineer na wajui communicate and because it was not necessary for them because they are dealing with the machines but right now when they were engineer you are a doctor you are a lawyer you need to learn how to communicate is your message get to the receiver the way you intend to go do you know how to make presentations and another skill that you need to develop as quick as possible yeah. time management and it brings a lot of value to me and to my business So don't be among the people who come late. Who have no any plan the day. Unataka mtu kumani city unamwambia wapi? Hiko. Huko huko wewe unashia. Unataka kuweza kutaka hiyo kwa lafu ni sehemu hiyo. Yeye ni shaka kwa sababu ni sababu ya tumezoea sana. And Jim Rohn is one say we get paid by bringing the value to the hour. We are paid by the hour. We are paid by bringing the value to the hour. That's why I was in the problem of Kenya Gas and Shanghai the same office. The other one is paid 1.5 million and you are paid 700,000. Why? What do the guys must have been a sana. Like you want to be that you were million money and us go with what I said. This because the value that you are contributing to those 8 hours more than 700,000. But the other person The same numbers of hours is working. The value is contributing is small. So from now onwards, make sure that you manage your time well and you bring value to the hours that you are working on. Let other people be the time spanners, but not you. Let other people have no plan for their lives, but not you. For example, what you're doing right now, you are investing in this in your hours. And if you build this discipline every day, you are getting best development materials, trainings. I'm telling you, you can literally change the world. To hear when you say man, ya shara nyingi sana zinachelewa kufunguliwa. Nenda Marukani bila kaya ko. Nenda Simza. Watu wa kufungua biashara kwa wakati. Na hata akichelewa anachelewa kufungua na anawahi kufunga. Vibanda vingi vya mpesa kisha kwa saa moja vimefungwa vyote na alifungua saa nne. Anaona tu. No no no, let me on the other people but not you. What I did while I was in Roy, I worked very hard for those 8 hours as a banker. I closed the door of the bank. I went to do another job. That was for uh, I was doing the radio presentation as a radio presenter. After that, I didn't go home. After I didn't go home. I had to go and do the MC part. Now most people know me as an MC man. But they didn't know that I was sleeping late. But fire has started at once. I was sleeping three jobs at once. But as you're growing up, it upset you to create the life that you want. They say you can live a simple life now and live the hard life later, or you can live the hard life now and simple life later. It's the choice is yours. But my point here is from today onwards answer take care of your time manage your time well how do you manage your time well make a plan day to day plan when you woke up in the morning your day should be finished before it has been started do you have to, to do job list una una vile to do list nothing when you are tunaga hiyo unatindika maana utakachotokea ndio huko umeza so at saa 10 That's how it works in the field of business. Who do you know? For example, mshimo pole pole hapo wengi bilimuona lakini mkamwangalia from a distance. Ilitakiwa kabla hajaondoka hapo mshikota namba yake. Unayo namba yake. It's called networking. 
So get, get, get the connections. You know, in, in business, it's not about what you know. It's also about who you know. Who do you know in your life? What are the five most influential people that you have in your contact list? Why do you accept what I'm saying here in your business? I will be asking for bigger things that talk about who we are going to be a carry. What do you want to start to? You start to see the change. At least a person of influence, area seven of influence, so that when you want something, you don't go through the same hurdles a normal ordinary person is going through. That right now, if I want something in Ubungo, I can call Mr. Polipole and explain my issue. Do the end. Come back to the point of being personal. But if you say that you are going to be a person, you will be a person who 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 will be a person. And if you don't have any questions like this, if you don't have any questions like this, you will be a person who will be a person who will be a person. So you will be a person who will be a person. No, be more skillful. Don't wish life was easy. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills in this life. If you're more skillful, life will be so easy. Make sure that today you are a person who knows something. Let me give you a scenario. We are here with my here. What do you do? You call a person who knows here. You call a friend. Like if you're a technical. If you're a friend, you're a friend. Because you don't know. Which give us a clue. If you know, you'll be paid. So what do you know? What do you know and who do you know? That's very important. Get to know five or ten. Now, five is the minimum now. Probably for some of you, you know ten people. And those who are smarter, they'll get to know each Tom Dick and Harry in the house. Just like the way he's doing this morning. So for me, this is my advice to you. From today on, what? Develop these skills. Now, for some of you, it might take some time, but you become better. And probably you can make this as a new year resolution as we're wearing now 2016. 2017 is saying, I'm going to master these skills for the rest of my life. And I'm telling you, I'm continuing learning. And I have been a beneficiary of these five skills. Now, there are more skills. I'll just say, share with you five skills. If you want to master these skills and you become a problem solver, I'm telling you, mine won't be a problem to you. A lot of people are looking for money, they, they, they want after help. I think here they want to kill. If someone wants to kill. Just be more skillful, money will come. Do you know, back at Mijongeza, a person like Barisa, when you are seeing, you are seeing, they could have a wish, you could have 10 billion here, to know how much you could have. We're more skillful, become more innovative, become more entrepreneur, at the common final cast, become more entrepreneur, with the entrepreneurship mindset, life will be so easy on planet Earth. This has been a pleasure time. Thank you for your attention. Thanks. for watching this video and I believe it has been helpful to you. If so, please make sure that you give it a thumb up and don't forget to give your comments below on anything that regarding this topic. But also don't forget to share with other people. They will absolutely love to hear and to know about this topic. If you have not subscribed, please make sure that you do subscribe on this channel. Till next time, please ciao.